Hello everyone and welcome in a new video of the TTL3 channel. Today will be all about VPN troubleshooting on Palo Alto Network Firewall and our focus will be on the phase 1 essentially. We will use the following scenario where the admin from site 2 cannot bring up his site to site VPN. Unfortunately, the guy doesn't have access to site 1 firewall. So we will have to figure out a way to fix this VPN. But first thing first, let's jump on the site 2 firewall to investigate the VPN status. Ok, I am now in the IPsec tunnel section of the network menu and things look pretty bad. Both my phase 1 and phase 2 are down. Remember that those two guys are tied together. Phase 2 need a valid phase 1 to come up, so let's start to investigate the basics. I'm going to double check my system logs and see if I can get some information. I am now in the monitoring section looking at my system logs. I'm using the subtype VPN filters to only focus on my VPN log. And straight from the beginning, I can see something goes wrong with the following message. Phase 1, no proposal chosen. So obviously we have a proposal mismatch with the phase 1. At this stage, I have no idea what the remote site is trying to negotiate with me. So let's try to investigate the ICE logs via the CLIs to see if we can get some extra information. I am now in my terminal and we will investigate this ICE exchange closely to understand what this proposal mismatch is all about. I'm using the command tail to track the ICE message log on my firewall and this will be done in real time. This is nothing like a debug so you don't have to worry about the performance impact. Ok, let's give it a try. The key is to wait a bit for the remote site to reattempt the connection and here we are. We have pretty much the same message as before regarding a proposal mismatch. However, this time we have way more information. We know exactly what site 1 is trying to negotiate with us. We can see the encryption mechanism, the integrity, authentication mechanism and also what Ike mod site 1 is trying to use. So this is very good for us because we will be able to accommodate what site 1 is expecting by creating a custom proposal. Ok, let's get back to the web UI now. I am now back in the web UI of firewall number 2 and I will create a custom phase 1 proposal to accommodate what I've seen in the Ike output. Diffie Elman group. Based on the output, I can choose anything between 2 and 5. So I'm choosing 5. Encryption. Again, based on the output, I can choose anything between this and AES128. I'm choosing AES128. And finally, authentication. Again, based on the output, I have the choice between SHA1 and SHA256. So I'm choosing SHA256. My proposal is now ready. I can now attach it to my I gateway and see if it makes any difference. We can now go in advanced option and change the Ike crypto profile, also known as phase 1 proposal, with the new one. I click on OK and I can now commit my configuration and double check if the IPsec tunnel looks better. And that's it for today everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video and please let me know if you'd like to see more content like this one on my channel.